As you know, uh, the separation of uh, two strands of DNA duplex is required for the replication to start. But DNA polymerases, they are unable to separate the two strands of duplex, although they are able to uh, add new nucleotides to the single strands, but they cannot uh, separate the two strands. Therefore, another uh, class of enzymes, which is called DNA helicases, they catalyze the separation of the two strands of duplex DNA at the replication fork. So at the replication fork, DNA helicases are present which open up the strands. DNA helicases are hexameric proteins. That is, they contain six types of subunits that assume the shape of a ring. So this uh, uh, DNA helicase it is in the form of a ring and six subunits are present in this ring. This ring encircles one of the two single strands of DNA at the replication fork and adjacent to the single stranded double stranded junction. So uh, here it is a single stranded double stranded junction and uh, just adjacent to ju this junction this uh, helicase it encircles one of these two strands. Here in this uh, diagram you can see uh, this is the replication fork and adjacent to uh, this uh, single stranded double stranded junction this is also called a single stranded double stranded junction. So adjacent to this junction this DNA helicase is present and uh, see this uh, DNA helicase is only present on one of the two strands. It is not present on both the strands. And if you see the three-dimensional structure of this uh, DNA helicase, you can clearly see there are six domains or six subunits in this protein. So this is a hexameric protein and it is present in the form of a ring. DNA helicases found at the replication forks exhibit high processivity because they encircle the DNA. They associate with the DNA and unwind multiple base pairs of the DNA which means they have a high processivity. Release of the helicases from the DNA therefore requires the opening of the hexameric protein ring which is a rare event. This ring cannot be opened. If it is opened, it can release the strand, but it happens very rarely. However, the helicases can dissociate when it reaches the end of the DNA strand. So, so uh, this uh, it encircles a DNA uh, strand and it keep on moving as the replication fork keeps on moving. When this replication fork reaches at the end of the DNA duplex, so both the strands will be opened up and this ring can exit this strand. So only there is one possibility that once the replication is completed, this ring can leave the DNA strand. Of course, this arrangement of the enzyme and DNA poses problems for the binding of the DNA helicase to the DNA strand in first place. So, uh, uh, because this is a ring form, so how uh, this ring encircles this DNA strand first time? Once it encircled this strand, then it will keep on moving and at the end of replication, it will leave the strand. This is, uh, you can, uh, this can be explained, but how uh, for the first time it uh, and circles this strand. There are uh, some specialized mechanisms that open the DNA helicase, this hexameric ring, and place it around the DNA before reforming the ring. So there are uh, some special mechanisms which do that. Each DNA helicase moves along single stranded uh, single stranded DNA in a defined direction. This direction is also defined. Either this will move in this direction 
or this ring will move in this direction that is either from 5 to 3 prime or 3 to 5 prime. This property of this uh, uh, helicase is referred as the polarity of the DNA helicase. DNA helicases can have a polarity either of 5 prime to 3 prime or 3 prime to 5 prime. This direction is always defined according to the strand of DNA bound rather than the strand that is displaced. One of the strand is displaced and the other strand is that which is bound to this uh, DNA helicase. So the bound strand will define this direction. So as uh, here you can see uh, in this uh, uh, diagram, uh, this is uh, the replication fork and uh, this hole is a uh, replication bubble. In this replication bubble, this is uh, 5 prime and this is 3 prime. Similarly, this is 5 prime and this is 3 prime. So, uh, this, this strand will decide what will be the polarity of DNA helicase. Either it will come here and the polarity will be 5 to 3 and if it will bind this ring or this helicase will bind here, the direction will be 5 to 3 prime. So, this is the polarity of DNA helicase.